Okay, help, helping a friend thick shades out. He's got somebody arguing on his channel that claims to be a geologist. Well, she may be. I don't know, but let's see here. This is her. I appreciate you debating the topic with me. Mm -hmm. Let's see. No, in other words, what, what she really says is, I'm here to indoctrinate you and change your mind about Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. You brought God into it. No, no, no. No, wait a minute. No. Creation has been the way of thinking for all of humanity ever since you know, evolutionists came up with their cockamamie ideas. You're the new kid on the block. Okay? You're trying to change things, not us. Okay? Evaporates. Okay, what she's talking about here is mineral pools that are created over time by water splashing over a natural dam or a dike or something or from the sea and evaporates and then leaves its minerals behind and then a splash of more water and then a little when evaporates and leaves minerals and a little more water and evaporates and leaves its minerals and then we have this this collection of minerals okay and the evolutionists claim these take place this can only take place over vast amounts of time and they point to evaporates inside the stratum which or were created by the flood, and they say, see, there couldn't have been a flood because this evaporate was forming over a period of 30,000 years or 9,000 years. Okay, Natalie, I want you to understand something. When you refer to, to evaporates, you have to clarify what you're talking about. You need to point to it. Okay, you can't group them all and say this evaporate and that evaporate. There were probably evaporates on the earth before the earth was flooded and those got buried by the flood. There are evaporates being created on the earth today. But what you point to as an evaporate in this strata that were created by the flood, which is most of the strata on the earth, you're pointing to nothing more than a mineral pool. Minerals collected by water and dumped somewhere. Okay? And here, here's how we know that to be true. Because, the, Natalie, pay attention to me. There are such things as mines. You know, your little evaporates are nothing compared to the massive quantities of iron and coal and salt and, uh, and lead, lead and other things that are found in the earth. Okay? There's such thing as mines. So when you, you point to some calcium deposit somewhere and you say, look, and evaporate. Maybe, maybe not. Where is it found, though? Is it found in, in shallow sediment? Well, it might have been created since the flood. Is it found, you know... Uh, in, in the uh, Cretaceous, or, I mean, or, is, or uh, Jurassic, well, then it was created during the flood. It wasn't evaporate. You see, it's minerals collected by water that were in the earth and pooled together. Now, how do we know this? Here's, here's an experiment you can perform, Mary, that will help you figure this out, okay? Take yourself a, 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 a trough of some kind and put it at a very slim angle so that it very slowly flows. And then get yourself an eyedropper and put some food coloring in. And dry, as that water slowly flows down that trough, put yourself a drop of blue or red or green food coloring in that water and watch as it flows along. It doesn't instantly disperse and, and spread out. It stays pretty much close together as it goes down that trough and it becomes elongated, right? Okay. So what you're talking about is minerals that were pooled by water and deposited somewhere buried and then more sediment was buried on top of them and more and more okay I want to point out one more thing to you real quick uh, when God created the earth he made the land rise up out of the seas okay or the seas abate either way the land the waters abated from the continents and created Precambrian strata most of the strata on the earth were created by the flood the topmost layers strata that we find in some places were created after the flood and some Precambrian strata were created before the flood. The vast majority were created during the flood. Now, if, if you point to an evaporate in deep sediment all the way down below the Cambrian, you might be pointing to something that was created after the waters abated from the earth and before the flood. There are such things as mines, Natalie. Massive mines. You know, your little evaporates are nothing compared to the, some of the uh, mines I've seen. You know, I've seen uh, I've seen copper mine in Butte, Mon in, uh, Butte, Montana. Stinks for miles away. You you get a miles from it, 
and you can smell it. There's so much copper, and that's one place. Okay. God said, that you could, might as well say, God said, let the rocks come into being. You know, this would be at least coherent. There's nothing incoherent about what the Bible states. The Bible provides evidences and knowledge that, that defy science. Actually, that verifies science. Supports creation. Supports geology. Now, let me, let me tell you something. I know you don't know this, but do you know that the Bible has probably got 100, at least 100 passages in it that tell us knowledge of the earth in geology that it was not possible for ancient man to have known? Things that only geologists have discovered since the 1950s or 70s. That's right. Science in the Bible that geologists could not have known about until the latter half of the 20th century. You're just attacking the Bible. Oh, she's carrying on and fully evaporating. You can't overlook long periods of time. Natalie, let me explain something to you. Those strata that you find your evaporates in weren't laid down over long periods of time, and I'm going to prove that to you. The strata of the earth have smooth boundaries with each other, predominantly smooth boundaries. That's, they're like boards stacked on top of each other. This can't be unless they, they were laid down rapidly and together. And here's why. Because if they had been laid down over vast amounts of time, their borders with each other would be exceedingly irregular and missing all over the place. You know, you, to believe what you believe, you'd have to believe that rain and wind stopped on the earth until recently. Okay? Because otherwise, these strata could not have such smooth boundaries with each other. If they were laid down over tens of thousands or millions of hundreds of thousands or even millions of years, they would not have smooth boundaries with each other. It would not be possible. Not possible. Furthermore, they're organized. The strata by granule size, larger granules at the bottom and finer granules at the top. So for this strata that you believe was laid down over 10 or 50 or 300,000 years, you have to believe that for some reasons there's some mechanism in nature whereby nature is going to lay down big granules first and they get smaller and finer and finer to the top of that strata over a period of 47,000 years then the process starts all over again with the next strata. Now, Natalie, do you really think that's rational? Is that is that logical? That this this laying down of only big granules, the finer at the top, occurs over to large amounts of time, and then the process starts all over again with the next strata, and the next one, 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 and the next one. For some reason, there's this recurring timed mechanism in nature by which nature decides, I'm going to lay down big granules, and they're going to get smaller and smaller for 48,000 years, and then we're going to start all over again. See, Natalie, your, your ideas in geology are nonsense. They verify a flood. The earth screams flood. By the way, the Cretaceous layer is globally universal, which could not be if there hadn't been a global flood. Landslides can dissolve the evaporates, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, Natalie, uh, oh, Natalie, I call you, it's Nalay or whatever. Uh, you know, uh, no number of local floods could create the strata of the earth. Do you know that? Local floods would have to move material from one place and lay it down on another, but the earth is covered with an average of over one half mile of sedimentary material. That means the entire earth has been washed into sediment to such a depth. Local floods cannot do that. Not a trillion, trillion, trillion local floods could do that. In all of your imagined evolutionist time, it is not but a tiniest fraction of enough time for something like that to happen, even if it were possible. You would need 15,000 million times the age of the earth or something ridiculous like that for the earth to be washed into sediment to such depth by local floods. It can't happen. Do you believe in God? Do you think he caused the world flood? Well, we know it. The strata are organized by gr uh, granule size, laid down, and they have smooth boundaries. It's not possible for that to happen over a vast amount of time. She just carries on and on about these evaporates. That's my ideas. Mainstream geology. Oh, now you know what I hear. I hear that school teacher in Peanuts. <laughs> What? 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 What?